So I'm here at the chef's store checking out the strawberry cubes and peach cubes already cubed up and ready to go. I'm going to do some more strawberry cubes and then I have some peach cubes. And a five pound bag of those. I'm going to put this on the scale so I can get about two pounds on there. Okay, so two pounds of strawberries on there. And I'm going to put these, the ones that I let sit out, I'm going to put those back in on one of the halves of the tray. And then I'm going to tear that out so I can get a pound of the peaches in there. It'll be pretty easy to keep them or to separate them. Whoa. We've got about a pound there. Okay, those can go into the freeze dryer. I just checked everything, it's dry. What I did was I had weighed them. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so I would weighed all the trays three hours ago and put them in for an additional three hours just to make sure. And there was no additional weight loss. So I know that they're a hundred percent done. So that's one way you can be sure if you're not really sure, you're cautious, put them in for a few more hours, but weigh the whole thing and find out if it stopped losing weight. Uh, the whole reason they're losing weight is because there's water being taken out. Once it stopped losing weight, it's really dry. So that was two pounds of strawberries and they did shrink a little bit. But those are beautiful little cubes. All right, so I'm going to put half the tray in each bag. So that'll give me the equivalent of one pound of strawberries. Okay, so about 51 grams in each. So 102 grams, uh, that was two pounds. Now it's 102 grams. I could show what that is in ounces. I always forget about ounces. Uh, it's 1.8 ounces. So 3.6 ounces total from two pounds. So from 32 ounces down to 3.6. I just find it useful to use grams when you're trying to get precise small quantities. And this is the one that I let uh, set out overnight to see how much moisture it added. So now I re-dried it to get that moisture back out. It only gained one and a half grams, but still out of 50, that's a 3% gain. You know, that was a quarter teaspoon of water equivalent. 
little peach cubes. Ah, this is a great way to do the peaches. Well, some of these fruits, or any of the fruits that you can get this way. I mean, it's just so fast. All of the work has already been done for you. It's already cleaned and cubed and, and frozen, ready to freeze dry. And usually they're picked at the peak of flavor. Oops. Then we'll even them out, make sure that they're about equal. Okay, that's close enough. I probably could have put that in an even smaller bag. I used a little quart bag, but I probably could have stuffed that in a pint bag. And the final tray for this batch. You know, the peaches definitely shrink a little bit because some things seem to collapse more than others. Very ripe fruits tend to collapse more than less ripe fruits too. I noticed that with pears. Now, get the oxygen absorbers in there and seal them up. Okay. Now, trying to smooth that out so there's no wrinkles or creases and seal it. It's already done. I like to let it sit for just a few seconds so it cools a little bit before I take it out. It is a beautiful seal. And usually in the videos, I edit this piece out right here where I'm waiting a few seconds for it to cool a bit. Because it's probably boring enough to see bags being sealed without waiting it for it to cool. One, two, three, four. So I have what batch number? For me, this is batch 459. It's peach cubes from Flavor Pack. They're, it was frozen. The date, how much it weighed before, uh, just general in case I want to know. Now, one more thing we're going to add is the gross weight of the entire bag. So 87 grams. That way, if I have a problem again, like those lightweight bags, I'll know the instant I put it on there if it weighs more. Because those bags tended to gain two or three grams um, per hundred. So, so two or three percent. This way I'll know up front the instant I put it on there, I'll know 89 grams. Those are ready to store long term and use them for delicious things.